Yep, that 2 a.m. wake up is real. So it was Christmas Eve, I was chilling at home getting ready to go to bed when I received a text message from my charge nurse. Are you able to come in early? I know they wouldn't have texted me unless they really needed me, so I responded back and said, Heard we're super busy, what time do you need me to come in? Jokingly, but also not jokingly, she said, any time. Then followed with, can you come at 3? There was definitely some hesitation on my end, but I was like, you know what, okay, I can do 3 a.m. Then I said, pretty pleased for a good assignment. So if I need to be at work at 3, the latest that I can possibly wake up is 2 a.m. and I already live really close to the hospital. But here we are, 2 a.m. awake. Here's a day in the life of a nurse on Christmas Day. I have major anxiety when it comes to sleeping through an alarm, especially if it's for work. So I kept waking up every 20 minutes. Regardless, we're up, get ready for the day. Yes, I live in California, but yes, it's also freezing when I wake up in the morning. Next step is to put on our scrubs and of course put on a heavy duty jacket because it is freezing in the mornings. On a normal day, I maybe do a nice five to 10 minute makeup routine, but when I go to work, it's about a two to three minute routine. Basically, I'm just trying to look like I don't need to be admitted to the hospital myself. So that involves putting on some moisturizer. This is a must because you're gonna be running around all day and your skin is going to get really dry and also really oily at the same time. It's truly amazing. Popping on my Apple Watch here. This is my go-to item because it allows me to set timers for different pumps that might be going off and also set timers for my breaks. Ah, good old concealer right under those under eyes as well as covering all of those acne marks so I don't look like I'm still a teenager in high school. You know, people told me that pimples would go away after your teenage years and you know, they just never have. So I'm still waiting. I also have so much eyebrow hair, but I just fill them in so that it doesn't look like some places are more sparse than the others. Sometimes I do it in such a rush that I get to work and realize that they are definitely cousins and not even sisters. Finally, I don't like wearing lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that to work. I just line my lips so that the top lip and bottom lip are the same color and call it a day. Okay, that is the one minute look. Now let's gather all the things that we need for work. Item number one, cannot forget our badge. Number two, stethoscope as usual. Number three, gum. Doesn't matter if you brush your teeth in the morning, your breath is still gonna stink later. Number four, snacks. I always keep plenty of these in my bag because, you know, just running around all day, you burn a lot of calories, surprisingly. My AirPods, which I like to listen to a little bit of music going into work. And today's Christmas, so we have a little cute Christmas tree hairpin that I got from a local Japanese store called Daiso combing out my hair real quick. Doesn't really matter what it's gonna look like because it's just gonna go into a ponytail later anyways. I swear to God, sometimes I'm the most forgetful person on earth and I forget some of the most basic things. The night before I go to work, I always write down in my notes app. I'm often halfway to work when I realize that I completely forgot to bring my lunch or my water bottle. It is dark, it is rainy, and it is cold. Honestly, thank God for heated seats because otherwise I probably might not survive. Good morning, fam. It is 2 a.m. We are on the road. Merry Christmas. I guess the good part about going to work at 2 a.m. is that there isn't any traffic. All right, you guys, we are here. Good morning. Christmas tree is falling off. Um, it is currently 2.47, just gonna take a little mental break for three minutes, get myself ready, and then we'll head in. If you guys didn't already know, I work in the pediatric ICU, which um, means that I take care of kids anywhere from a couple days old all the way to 21 years old. Usually with kids, there are a lot less scheduled surgeries, and during the holidays, um, you know, they're just a lot less scheduled procedures, so typically it's, knock on wood, usually a little bit slower. The holidays are usually one way or another, usually really crazy or really calm, and unfortunately we're currently slammed at the unit and we have a lot of, lot of patients, um, and the kids are really sick, and so I'm actually scheduled to come in for a day shift, so my shift isn't supposed to start until 7, but because we're 
um, short on night shift. I am coming in early. That's why I'm coming in at 3 a.m. instead of 7. But we are running on just a couple hours of sleep. Um, maybe actually just even one hour. I kind of had a crummy night of sleep. But you know when you have such little sleep that you don't feel tired? That's kind of the state that I'm in right now. But hopefully I'll be able to take a little bit of break. Take a little bit of a break later um, and just... I don't know but Merry Christmas nobody wants to you know work on a holiday but also the kids don't want to be sick on a holiday and so I'm really lucky and glad to have the honor and pleasure to you know come into work and be with them the holidays are a little bit more festive anyways I brought a cheese platter because we're doing potluck Santa Claus will come and things like that and so it shouldn't be too bad for this ride because it's about to get crazy. At 3 a.m. I received a report from one of the other nurses and took over an assignment for a patient that was one-to-one. -one. Patient actually wasn't doing that great and so I almost barely left my room. When I had a quick second to run to the break room, I saw all these delicious things that Night Shift had left over. I also didn't have any Christmas sweaters or Christmas gear so one of my nurse friends brought me this shirt which I thought was so fitting. Then at 7 a.m. they switched my assignment to a different set of patients because the nurse that had the patient that I was taking care of was back. I had completely forgotten to set up my vocera until this point. This just allows me to call other members of the healthcare team. Mornings from 8 to 10 a.m. are always the busiest. During this time you are gathering all your supplies, doing your first med passes, all your assessments, and also rounding with the team. You know when you slept so little that you don't even feel tired anymore but it hits you later? So right around 10 a.m. when I took my first break this is when it started sinking in a little bit that I had gotten almost no sleep okay back to work after rounds there are a bunch of new orders to acknowledge and carry out and I'm just catching up on a bunch of charting it's also the end of the year which means that any sort of competencies and education for the unit are typically due by December 31st and I wasn't done and so any spare second I had I was trying to get some of these modules over with okay at this point I was crashing a little bit and so a cupcake for breakfast Heck yes. It was not pictured, but I actually also had a McDonald's burger before this. One of my patients went from being NPO, and now we're gonna trial some Pedialyte, so I grabbed some of that. And once I do okay on Pedialyte without any nausea and vomiting, then we'll proceed to advance the diet to a pediatric diet. Lunchtime! Was so ready for this potluck. When I got back, things got crazy. So one of my patients was doing pretty well and we were very slammed and short-staffed and so they decided to transfer one of my patients out because there was a more critical patient who needed the bed. If you didn't know anything about admissions, they almost always come during the last 30 minutes of your shift. So after I transfer the kid, I was very busy trying to admit this other kid and that was the day. It has been a crazy day. <laughs> I just got home. I'm just sitting in my car for a second because I've been up for, I slept maybe an hour and I've been up for over 24 hours, like with the exception of that one hour of sleep. So I am very tired. This RN is very tired. My brain processing speed is like, I don't know, probably the speed of the internet that I have at home. So you know, I think that speaks volumes to how I'm feeling right now, but really, really sad that there are so many kids who are sick in the ICU over Christmas because usually Christmas is a time when, you know, kids go home. This is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but we made it home. Yay! As you can probably guess, after that, I pretty much took a shower, ate some takeout, and knocked out because I was back the next day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I post weekly videos, usually on the weekends, and I hope you're having a good holiday season. I will see you in 2020.